Good day. In this video, we're going to show you how to do simultaneous equations using substitution. It's called simultaneous because you've got two equations at the same time, and they both have the same variables in them, x and y in this case. We're going to use these four steps. First, we're going to get the x or the y alone in one of the equations. Substitute that into the other equation and solve for the one variable you then have. Then you substitute that answer you get back into 1, 2, or 3. And then you can check your answer to see if your calculations were right. You will use simultaneous equations often in different sections of maths. This is just to show you how it works, and you can use it wherever you need it. Question here says, solve for x and y, and they gave us two equations. This one's got an x and a y in it, the other one's got an, only an x in it. First, we number the two equations. The top one we can call 1, and the second one 2. We also call it capital A and capital B. That is just to be able to tell yourself what you're doing with which one. The rule says take either the number 1 or number 2 equation and get either the x or the y alone. Because the second equation only has an x in it, I'm going to isolate this x, solve for x first. From 2 now, I get 3x equals to 6. I minus 1 on both sides. Then we divide by 3 on both sides and we get x equals to 2. This we now substitute into the other equation. We rewrite the first equation. Replace the x with 2. And simplify for y. 2 times 2 is 4. You minus 4 on both sides and get y equals to minus 1. So our final answer is y equals to minus 1 and x equals to 2. Now, like in all maths problems, you can check if the, what you worked out is right. I'm going to check equation 1, that equation there. You write the left-hand side equals, and I fetch that left-hand side of that equation. I say right-hand side equals, and I fetch the right-hand side of that equation. I replace the y and the x that I worked out into this. I get this. Then I see my also my left hand side is also 3. Because my left hand side is equal to my right hand side, I know my calculations. y equals to minus 1 and x equals to 2 were right. This bottom part behind this blue cross is just for yourself. They said at the top, solve for x and y, and we did solve for x and y. x is 2 and y is minus 1. Is our next problem. They give us these two equations and they say solve for x and y simultaneously. Firstly, we number the equations. The top one we're going to call 1 and the second one we're going to call 2. Next, we get either the x or the y alone in any one of the two equations you choose. I took equation 2, so I wrote here from equation 2. I now get y equals to plus 1 plus x. I divide by a minus 1 right through and then I get my y alone. Then I substitute this into my other equation. So then I write down the first equation from there. Replace this y with 1 plus x in a bracket. Then simplify for x. First times the 2 into this bracket. Add x and 2x gives me 3x and minus 2 on both sides to get this 2 away here. Get 3x equals to 3. Divide by 3 on both sides you get x equals to 1. Stop the video and make sure you understand what happened up to here. Next we substitute this x equal to 1 that we got back into either 1 or 2. I decided to substitute it back into 1. I wrote the number 1 equation down. Substitute the x is 1 in the place of the x there. Then it looks like this. Then we just solve for this y. You minus 1 on both sides and you get 2y equals to 4. Divide by 2 on both sides and get y equals to 2. Now final answer is y equals to 2 and x equals to 1. Now to see if my calculations were right, I can check whether the left hand side is equal to the right hand side on either the number 1 or the number 2 equation. I again decided to use equation 2 to check. I write left hand side equals to minus y. On the second equation, the left-hand side was minus y, and the right-hand side was minus 1 minus x. The right, right-hand side is minus 1 minus x. And I substitute this x and y values in here. 
Simplify the left hand side, you get the answer minus 2. Simplify the right hand side, you also get the answer the right hand side is minus 2. Because the left hand side is equal to the right hand side, I know my calculations were right. Final answer of this question, y equals to 2 and x equals to 1. Stop the video and get your brain around this one. Right, this is our third and last simultaneous equation that gave us these two equations. I numbered them already. Firstly, get the x or y alone in any of the equations. I decided to work on equation 1. Minus 2x on both sides, you get y equals to 6 minus 2x. Now we substitute this back into the y of the other equation. So I substitute it into 2. First write down the equation of equation 2. Replace this y value with 6 minus 2x in brackets. And now solve for x. Simplify the two sides separately. From here there's quite a few ways, but I minus 6x on both sides. And then I plus 10 to both sides. Then I get minus 2x equals minus 8. Divide by minus 2 on both sides, you get x equals to 4. This value of x, you now substitute back into any one of the first two equations. I'm going to substitute it back into equation 1. I write down equation 1. Replace that x with the 4 I worked out. Then I solve for y here. 2 times 4 is 8. Minus 8 on both sides. Get y equals to minus 2. The heading was solve for x and y. And we have that now x equals to 4 and y equals to minus 2. You can stop here, but if you want to check if your calculations were right, you can check whether the left hand side is equal to the right hand side on any of the equations. I did it in 2. The left hand side of 2 is this and the right hand side is that. Substitute and simplify. and You see, yes, your calculations were right. This check part is optional. It's just for the people that really want to make sure they didn't make any calculation mistakes. You stop here where it says x equals to 4 and y equals to minus 2. Please indicate whether you liked or disliked the video and subscribe to the channel. If you run into a simultaneous equation that you have trouble solving, you can send a clear WhatsApp picture of your problem to this number and a clear WhatsApp picture of where you tried it. Then we will try and help you and send back an answer as soon as possible. Enjoy simultaneous equations.